Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Data tables are a handy way of being able to change one or two variables in a formula to view and compare the different possible results within a comparison table. You can create either single variable data tables or double variable data tables. For example, you can create a single variable data table that computes and compares the possible different loan payment amounts for a loan that is based on different interest rates. Using the same example, you could also create a double variable data table that displays different loan payments that you could make for various interest rates and different loan repayment lengths. When you create a data table, you must organize it in a specific way based on whether it's a single variable data table or a double variable data table. All data tables consist of three basic parts. There is an input column or an input row, or both if you're creating a double variable data table, and there's an output column or an output row, or both if creating a double variable data table. You'll also need to reference the formula within the data table. The variables that you wish to modify within the formula must be entered as separate cell references within the formula being evaluated. If needed, you can create a small table that contains the cells to which you make references in the data table's formula unless you already have cells being referenced for that purpose existing in the worksheet. In a single variable data table, you have the option of arranging the data table in either a columnar layout or a row layout. In the column style, you place the formula being evaluated at the top of the output column, which would be the rightmost of the two columns. The left column is the input column that contains all of the possible values that you wish to evaluate for the variable reference that is used by the formula. In the row style, you place the formula that is being evaluated in the cell to the left of the output row, which is the bottom of the two rows. The top row is the input row and contains all of the possible values that you wish to evaluate for the variable reference used by the formula. In double variable data tables, there is only one way to lay out the data table. You must create both an input column and an input row. In a double variable data type, the formula that is being evaluated is then placed at the top of the input column and to the left of the input row. The square that extends to the right and down from there will be the output grid. That's where you will see the various outcomes of the formula being evaluated for the different variable intersections that are placed into the input column and input row. To create the data table, select the cell range that includes the formula being evaluated, the input column and or rows, and the output columns and or rows. Then click the What If Analysis button that appears in the Data Tools button group on the Data tab within the ribbon. Choose the Data Table command from the drop-down menu to open the Data Table dialog box. Next, click into the Row Input Cell text box and then select the cell in the worksheet that represents the changing variable that is shown in the input row if you have one. Then click into the column input cell text box and select the cell in your worksheet that represents the variable that is changing within the input column if you have one. Note that in a single variable data table you will only fill in one of these two boxes. The one you choose depends upon whether you created a data table using a column layout or a row layout. In a double variable data table, you must fill in both boxes, indicating which cell reference to use for your input column and which cell reference to use for your input row. When you're done, click the OK button within the data table dialog box to fill the data table with output information based on the values you placed in your input columns and or input rows.
At this point, you can then adjust the values that are shown within the input columns and or rows in your data table to view various possible outcomes of the formula being evaluated. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.